This episode of Champ and the Tramp is brought to you by Bubba Coos Burritos. It is my go-to spot. I go there all the time. I bang in there on lunch sometimes when I'm working. Sometimes I pick up an order for the whole family. Last time I went in, I got the chicken queso curly fries. Damn, hit so good. Bubba Coos, get there today. Boom. Real show, here we go. Real show, here we go. You know that it's gotta be that time, so this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance? Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man FE. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in. You already know what that's about. You know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task. Check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp. Let the bomb blast. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Champ and the Tramp. I was just getting chewed out by my partner yeah, over here. Yes, yes. Go ahead, buddy. Let me have it. All right, he called says, me an idiot, called yeah. me stupid, hurt my feelings really badly. <laughs> you don't got feelings, bro. You don't got feelings. <laughs> you're always you're always calling me something. No. Usually gay, but well, I mean, I'm just speaking. I'm like true. if you I'm don't, if speaker, you don't bro, agree with Frankie, like everybody has their own. Personal no, no, you don't agree with me. Personal you, you don't agree with fucking ninety percent of the people in the world. Well, okay, but but again, I didn't. Let's explain. Go, let's buddy. Explain. Go, go. He's saying he doesn't like Squid Games. Like I turned it on. I played it for twenty minutes. I couldn't. It was, it was not good. How he's got to mock me and talk like that. Well, that's that. how you sounded. That's how you sounded. I just I couldn't get into it. I wasn't digging it at all. Did I really talk like that? No, you said, did you watch Squid Game? You sent me some talking Squid, points, actually. Squid I looked game. it over. Did you watch a Squid Game? One of them was, <laughs> let's talk about Squid Game. So I was like, I, you know, obviously had a huge hype behind it. I wanted to give it a shot. I turned it on with a girlfriend, watched maybe 20 minutes of it. It's okay, dug, okay. has a slow beginning. At, at the very least, you got to oh, agree I with know. that. You need to fucking blow up stuff for Roger for <laughs> See? To, get, to, get, to get fucking See? intrigued. But, the, blow the, some but up the bigger point here is I'm allowed to have a different perspective than you. Are. Of course I'm not an idiot because I don't agree with you. Uh, a little bit. Because, <laughs> listen, you don't have only a different perspective than me. You have a different perspective than millions of people that are into the show. So so every person that I watched just, it loved it? Uh, I'm just saying. it cost, I just read some facts. It's cost $21 million to make. Mm-hmm. It made $900 million. So far. I'm sure it's still grossing. Yeah, right, money. right. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think supposedly, I, I read something, I don't know if it's true or not, but that that Korea was suing Squid Game people because something like their servers were down and, and they, they, so much Bro. broadband had to be used because people were streaming it. Wow. So, I mean, I guess you're alone. <laughs> I guess you're alone in, in the fact that you don't oh, like it. I'm cool with no, being give, alone, bro. Give it, give, it cool. a, give it another go. Okay. Honestly, it is slow, it is a little slow in the beginning, mm-hmm. but it gets cr- it's crazy. Well, it's also dubbed, and uh, it was, it's tough to get into dub movies, you know? Yeah, I don't know. To me, I think it did a really? good job. I don't know. I just remember them when I was a kid, you know, and the and the the mouth would stop moving, you know, like yeah. But they do a pretty good job. Five seconds before the words would come on. This is definitely better. I mean, obviously it's come on, but Uh, acting is a little weird too. Like they overact a little bit in it. Right. But bro, watch. It's fucking wild. It's wild. You got to give it a shot. Tommy Altieri told me about that. He was the first one. He watched it like the day it it came out, and he's like, "You guys got to watch this." We just turned it on the other day, but neither of us got into it. So apparently she's an idiot too, because according to Frankie. Well, I know. <laughs> no, I'm sure you. I'm sure you influenced her. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you influenced her. I dumbed her down a lot. You're saying? Yeah, I'm sure. This guy never got hugged as a kid or something. He's so angry. Bro, why? Because I because because I'm an idiot because I didn't watch it. How was I talking again? No, because uh, uh, you, I, got, I just I could get into it, guys. I could get into uh, it. In the popcorn. <laughs> well, all right. What else, pal? What else? Since I didn't watch Squid Game, you got something that we can talk about? <laughs> What do you Co- got? Oh, my man Corey. You see our guy Corey? Bro, Corey Anderson getting it done in big, flagrant style in the first round. Good for you, Corey. 51 Proud seconds. Of you. Proud of you, brother. Yeah, he looked great. And um, Bader is no slouch, man. No, man. Bader was a two-time division. Two, right. He was a heavy, I think he's still the heavyweight champ in Bellator. I think. And then he, he was, No, I don't think he is. This guy with a weird name is. No, 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 no. Huh? He lost the light heavyweight title. Oh, okay. and then he won. He, I think he's, okay. I think he yep. still has the heavyweight though. Okay, the guy Nemkov. That's yes. who. That's that's who. Um, Corey is going to fight in the final, next, right? Yeah, in yeah, the yeah, finale yeah. of the yeah. Grand Prix. Bro, I saw he was like on some hunting expedition the next day or something. Is he really crazy, uh, bro? That guy's on the move. I mean, he took no damage, so 
Yeah, 51 seconds, bro. Hit him yeah. by in the air, ground and pound. Yeah, at a boy, Corey. We yeah. love you over here. Good. You see him and, you know, Jan Blo- Blo- Jet- Blockwood. Blockwood, yeah. You see them going back and forth a little bit. Well, didn't Corey start that, or am I wrong? Didn't he post a picture I think he of just said something. Jan's face? No, no. Because no. Jan, Jan said something first. Oh, okay. Because I think Corey was saying, you know, whatever. Fuck you. I'm the best in, in the world. I'm thinking that da, 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 da. Right. I have a win over this guy, blah, blah, blah. Because they split, you know? Right. right. And then Jan comes back. He's like, dude, this guy leaves UFC after I, after I almost ended his career. And now he thinks he's the best. Where he's like, slow down. Right. And Corey's like, whoa, whoa, don't forget. He's like, yeah, you, you hit me with a longy punch, but I owned you like a bitch for 15 rounds, yeah. and you look like elephant man. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. like, and you don't forget, you posted. I need to th- go home and rethink my career. Yeah. You know, they both had yeah, their, right, uh, right, right, their right. thing. But uh, I would love, I would love to see the rematch. Obviously, they're, they're in different yeah, venues now. Yeah. But I wonder. You never know. Could happen. Right. I mean, right. Corey's how old's Corey? 30? Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. he, he, things crazier stuff has happened. Guys have left and come back, and so. Yeah, no, it was good to see Corey win. Uh, you know, he, he he's he, just a good dude. He, he man. went, he went a little wild, and he, I think what is he saying? What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, I, I think you know, even though fighting has done tremendous things for him, I think his first love is really hunting. He taught me how to. I shouldn't say taught. I, I guess I knew a little bit about archery, but he he. Got me a bow, got me a new bow, and uh, he's just such a down to earth, good, humble human being. He met me at the range, and we were over there for hours. He was teaching me how to sight it in and stuff. He's a he's a archery proficionado, I would say. So, and you too, right? He taught you. He did, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I need to get into it a little yeah, more. Yeah, I, I do. I, I'm gonna. Uh, he sent me the apprentice thing for hunting license. Okay. I guess you get your apprentice license, and I can go hunt with him. Yep, right. So after my fight, I think I'm going to go, gonna do that? go in the woods. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna awesome. set up a blind or something. This guy is crazy, by the way. He uh, he doesn't go, like, to a range. He takes his little archery target, his little, you know, basically bale of hay, puts it inside his garage, and then goes out in the cul-de-sac and shoots arrows into his garage. Well, where am I going to go? <laughs> Just, uh, go to the range. No, <laughs> fuck that, bro. It's right here. I can practice right here. <laughs> Corey told me to do that. Well, I was going to do it in the backyard, but then he's like, dude, I don't know. You might shoot it over the fence yeah, or something. Yeah, that would be tough. So do it yeah. to the garage. Make sure my kids ain't walking out. I'm good. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> you lock the door because the door is like right there. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Imagine Biggie rolling out. Jesus Christ. Dude, but them arrows are move fast too, boy. I know. I know. Um, We'll stay on fighting here. Uh, you, you see uh, uh, Jorge Masvidal and, and Edwards fighting. Coming up, right? Yeah. And then, you, you, t- you know the drama between that, right? Well, they, he gave him the three piece and in the, the soda, the soda yeah, yeah, soda. yeah, yeah, in the back, yeah, yeah. Yep. How do you think that fight goes? I, I mean, I, I never not bet on Masvidal. I love Masvidal. I just like his fighting style, I like everything about him. I just think he's got that thoroughbred, you know, like demeanor to him. But um, um, the last fight Edwards. that Edwards had, he looked really good, you know. So who did? Oh, well, with Nate Diaz. Nate, he, he looked really they good. They almost got stopped too yeah. at the very yeah. end, you know. Yeah. Um, he looked good. Yeah, though. I, I don't know. I got to think about how that fight would go. You know, I think Leon Edwards is a little more athletic, but uh, Jorge Masvidal's striking is pretty on point. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, um, obviously he got beat by the best in the game. I mean, you can't take anything away from Usman, but uh, uh, Usman's he's he's, he's next getting level, better man. And better he and really better is. Every time, he really you know? is, man. It's kind of impressive. But the, I guess what I like about Masvidal is just the whole time in there, even though he's against the best guy in the game. You know, second time they fought, obviously the first time he didn't have a full camp, right? But Second time they fought, I mean, he's just smiling at him the whole time, no matter what he hit him with, until he got knocked out, yeah. obviously. He's smiling at him the whole time. He's, he's just a, he's a gamer. You know, he came up with, like, the Kimbo, like, fighting in the backyard. Sure, that's where stuff. I first saw him, yeah. And, and I fought, didn't realize fought. it was even him when he got in the UFC, because I, I remember those fights. You know, he had a bunch. But then he got in the UFC, and someone said, this guy used to fight with Kimbo. And I'm like, he did? And I went back, and I was like, holy shit, I watched that guy uh, fight. Yeah, yeah. You know? He had short hair back then. And, yeah. Yep. That's a pretty wild, wild story. That's where he got his name, um, his his nickname, Game Bread. Game Bread, yeah. Bread for this shit. Yeah, he is. He is. He's a uh, he's a big uh, Trump conservative guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Cuban. He's Cuban. His family's from Cuba. He had a really good speech. Something about I, I'm gonna fuck it up and say it wrong. You probably remember it better than I do, but something about you know your coach. You always follow the coach that wins or something like that. Remember? What do you mean? When he was endorsing Trump, he he came. Oh, out oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. No, no. He said Super Bowls. Sick. Yeah, he yeah, said yeah, right, right. Co- yeah, about about co- yeah. Football. It was about coaching. Like, yeah, yeah. He, he's like, you're gonna you're gonna go to the guy that won the Super Bowl. Or right. You're gonna go play for a guy that, that that's been losing for 42 right. years yes, and shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a good line. Yeah, he he's yeah. a. Uh, 
he's like a you know he's a good personality. Yep. You yep. know he's a good following. Yep. The shit he says is funny. Uh huh. Three piece and a soda. Yeah, man, <laughs> he's witty with it, and he like. You know, street Jesus. He, yeah, he's a, <laughs> first and foremost above everything else. That dude's a street fighter. You talk shit to him, you're probably gonna have to, you know, yeah, meet meet up with him at some point. You know, I mean, yeah, well, I mean, and he's I not think... scared to actually do it. You got guys like Connor that throw shit through the side of buses, and that's not really fighting. Uh, I don't think he's scared either. I'm sure he'd fucking scrap. Scrap? You think he'd scrap with Khabib? How do you think that would go? Bro, in the street. Yeah, in the street. He, in I the mean, street. That's different, bro. Uh, yeah, I feel, like, maybe. I feel like Khabib would rip his face off. No? Maybe, but no, he, he, I'm sure he's he's a fucking fighter, bro. He's a gamer, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm sure he'd fight. Doesn't mean he win. <laughs> and how about our fucking Jersey boy, Jimmy Miller? Jim Miller, getting it done. Uh, what, Most fights bro- ever. I was going to say, broke Most some records, right? He just broke, well, he broke... Uh, him and him and Cerrone keep, keep yeah, breaking yeah, each other's yeah, records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then it was kind of funny. I seen someone put a, put a uh, tweet like, "The guy with the most fights in the UFC fought the guy with the least fights in the UFC." Yeah, is that crazy? Is <laughs> that the guy crazy? had his debut. I know. But I'll tell you what, the dude rocked Jim, rocked Jimmy. Did he? And he caught was, him. He's a little. I didn't see and it. And then he came back and, and put him away. Really? Yeah, it was good. Was it's Jim good rocking his big beard like he normally does oh, yeah. this time oh, yeah. of year? Yeah. 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 Well, I love Jim. Obviously, we had Jim on the show. Great guest. Great interview. Um, if you don't follow him, you should follow him because he's funny as hell on his on his uh, Instagram. Big time hunter too. Another guy he that's is. big into hunting. But he does. He's like in the. He's in everything, bro. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I got no fucking hobbies. He's well. He's he's. What's interesting about him is they bought like him and his wife, and I think bought he like has three or four. Fixer up. He's three bought or like four a total years. fixer up or like hundred and plus year old house, and Jim is going like one room at a time and, and fixing. fixing it. Yeah. But Self, any though. any any documents a lot of it. Like yeah. what he does. I remember one one day he was in the basement. It's like an old rock wall basement. And like it had old steel pipes or whatever, and they burst, and he's like covered in feces and shit. And he's oh, like, man. "Today's project is fixing the plumbing." Yeah, you know, but yeah, good dude. Remember when he was in here? He was telling the story about um, he got the call from the UFC to set up a fight. He's like, "I had just backpacked out into the woods, like a mile out in the woods. So I'd set up my little, you know, campfire, and I'm under a tree, gonna spend the night so I can get up super early and deer hunt." And my phone rings. I got like one bar of service. He was accepting fights while he's out in the middle of the woods. Like, yeah. that's like a man's man, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. He, uh, it's almost like he ain't from Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? exactly. Well, he's where south or west? Sparta, Sparta, North, northwest. Okay, yeah, I know where Sparta is. Yeah, it's like almost by PA, I guess. Yeah, that's people don't realize. I mean, same thing with New York. You hear New York, you think all city. City. Yeah. You go. Oh, you know, bro, up by Lake George, bro. Oh, they, bro New York has a ton of country. Lake George, Jersey Lake doesn't have as much because it's a small state, small but we state, have some. Yeah. You know. I think there's more state parks in New Jersey than any other. Probably. Is that crazy? I don't yeah. understand how the fuck that makes that sense. That is crazy. Yep. I think we're the, wait, the, what, the third, fourth small state. Uh, is that what it is? I don't know. It's got to be. What was this? Well, Rhode what, Island's the smallest, Rhode right? Island, yeah. Then like Vermont, New Hampshire. I Maryland's not very big either, right? Not nah, bigger than us, though. I think yeah. at least in mass. Right. Um. Yeah, but density Delaware. density wise, we've got number one. Yeah. Oh no, New York's gotta be number one. No, is it really? Okay. What would you say about New York, bro? What would you true, say about true, New York? True, 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 true. See how angry he gets. Man? How is that angry? He's so angry. How's angry? I'm correcting He's like, you. Fuck this guy is so fucking. I, dumb. I'm just. I, fucking how much is I just said? Did, what did you just say about New York? <laughs> That's all I said. All right. Well, it's a lot of country. You're right. I didn't think of it that way. New York has an incredible density of. I should say Manhattan or NYC. But um, you're right. It, it is. It's a much bigger state, but it's it's a lot more um, sparse than New yeah. Jersey is. So, what is yeah. the population in New Jersey? The the population, I think, is nine million. million nine million. I think. Yeah. Oh, I bet you nine nine something, right? Andrew can confirm. I read. Speaking of just numbers and data, kind of total, yep. total separate thing. I saw a. Uh, Instagram post today it just kind of makes it makes you think you know you, you read stuff all the time we can make fun and be like oh you get information from Instagram and memes or whatever but sometimes you just read stuff that just makes you think I read something today that said how is it possible that we let 500 people rule 330 million people there's essentially 500 less than, yeah I think it was, 500 I did see some, I heard I've seen something about that you know Congress legislation yeah, right. senators yeah, it, governors it, it, 400 something like that. right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is crazy when you think about yeah. it yeah that uh-huh. roughly 500 people dictate what, what 330 million people do. Yeah, you're right. That's crazy. That is insane. 
Well, how about China? Think about that. <laughs> I know. It's probably less. It's probably like a, their their regime yeah. is probably less than 500, and they rule fucking it's, how yeah. many? <laughs> billion. A couple billion, right? right but I China? think that's what happened. When you remove power from the people, they have no way to fight back, really, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's why the Second Amendment and the First Amendment are so incredibly important here. Yeah. Agreed. But speaking of China, I mean, Olympics going on over there, Winter Olympics in February, right? They're not allowing any outside spectators. It just Chinese spectators? Just Chinese, yeah. Why, though? And the International say, Committee agreed to it. No questions asked. But is it because of COVID? Because I of COVID? believe so, yeah. People are probably like, fuck that. I don't want to go there and get COVID. They're saying they're going <laughs> to create a bubble-like infrastructure where athletes and coaches and things what, what can city only China, travel. You know? ah, I'm not sure. I forget. Beijing, Shanghai. Probably. I mean, yeah. we were, they already had it in Beijing. But, they did, right? Yeah. That was the summer, though. <coughs> oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah. You might, yeah. yeah, you might be right. Yeah. Bro, did you You know? Did you ever see that? You How know, crazy did, is that, though? People... But you, listen, you ever see they have opening acts like in the, in the Olympics? Mm -hmm. Do you do you remember the opening acts in, in Beijing? No. Bro, it was kid people in hospital beds. What? Bro, yes. And, like, it was crazy. You know, people in hot. I'm telling you, it was fucking pretty creepy. Doing what, though? Like do, doing like a dance, like a whole like fucking big like uh, uh really? you know opening scene. Yeah, you you got to look it up. I, okay, I'm pretty yeah. sure. This is where we need Andrew to pull it up on I the know, TV I so know. we can check that out and like superimpose it. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's like people in <laughs> hospital beds, people like you know the 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 there's like doc you know the doctors used to wear Heads those, taped those things, oh yeah those, those big chrome yeah, yeah, things yeah yeah yeah, yeah. stuff like they're all, they're all wearing that shit really yeah yeah and I'm what? wondering if that that was what 2012 Beijing mm -hmm. right. I think. I think you're right, yeah. No, no, 12 was London. Beijing 08? was 08, maybe? 08. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, a, little, a little creepy. But right? it's just nuts. I mean, people, every year, there's there's a, it draws a huge mass crowd from all over the world. Well, this year, J Japan, there was no fans, right? Right. Well, I'm saying, um, related to COVID, right? Yeah, so, but I mean, still kind of COVID, still maybe, I mean, it's still prevalent, right, yeah, around sure. the world. yeah. So maybe that's why they're saying no no foreign. Right, but again... They're going to fucking crush it, too. Some of the rules just don't make any sense. For example, you're going to New York to fight. Mm. And they're, you, as an athlete, you have different requirements than guests do. What is right. the difference? Can you that's explain just that like Kyrie me? Irving. I know we talked about it last week, but Kyrie mm. Irving, he's not allowed to play because he's not vaccinated. Right. And since he's a New York employee, I guess he's a New York State employee. I, I don't know if that works. Because if you're for the best, but you're a New York employee, whatever. You're taxed by the state of New York. I guess, yeah. yeah. So you consider it, so that's why you have to be. But they said he could play away games. But the the team was like, no, if he can't be a full participant, he's not playing at all. Right. But yet, if, say, the Houston Texans or the Houston Rockets come and play, and there's a guy on there that's not vaccinated, he can go to New York and play. <laughs> right, right. Or say they trade Kyrie to right. Houston. Then he can Houston. come right back he to New come York. He can come back and play, right. play in New York. It's makes, How, yeah, it's, it's just nothing no that makes sense. no logical reasoning to it whatsoever. None, and that's why so many people. Oh, did you see Southwest uh, just dropped uh, the man? Yep, the mandate I saw that. Yeah, yeah. And Delta did as well. But, but you, you know, but you, you know what? You can't, they, you but, can't yes. tell me that that's not because people they yes. were going to lose mass amounts of right. people, and it was going to. Hey, you heard the bottom dollar. You heard the bottom Correct. dollar. That's it. You're right. You can't. But, you can't convince me otherwise. But you know, it wasn't weather. It wasn't weather. I know, but you know, supposedly like Delta get ninety percent of their fucking employees either quit, got fired, right. or fucking got the vaccine. Right. So now they're like, oh, you don't need it. Imagine you fucking got it. You're imagine. like, what the fuck? Can you, you know? imagine? I mean, whatever. I mean, no, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tackle box? You going fishing? Oh, fishing. I, no, you, ever I go thought, fi you ever go fishing? Like, I like, just took like, my kids a, this weekend. No, no, yeah. no, no, not that kind of fishing. Like, no. fishing, like, remember remember when we were kids, you had to go fishing? You know what that is or no? No. You ever heard that? To go see if you can get someone to buy you alcohol. Oh, no. I, I mean, I never, never called it that, but certainly had people. You want to hear something crazy? I'm not going to say any names, but the guy that used to do it all the time for us, my sister called me a couple weeks ago, said he died. He was only maybe, maybe five years older than me, 10 years older than me, maybe. For karma. Maybe karma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was the nicest guy, too. I remember when we were in, when we were in eighth grade, <clears throat> we used to go down. It's actually, uh, it's in Lakewood. It's like this, uh, it used to be like, I don't know, shop right in Lakewood. I don't know what it is now. And there was a little Italian place there. And the old the guy, the guy, the guy owned the pizzeria was this old Italian guy. <laughs> so we'd give him money. He'd go get us 40s next door. <laughs> we were fucking 14 years old. He'd put them outside and get, just gave it to us. We'd get fucking hammered. And there was, a bunch, there was a bunch of buses in the back. And we'd break into the buses and fucking shoot each other with the fire extinguishers. Oh, no, shit. <laughs> I grew up in a different time, man. Little small towns are just different. 
They're just different than like when you grow up with a lot of, you know, a lot of students Influence. going to one school. Yeah. It's just different. Plus, it's Maine, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up every kid, including girls, every kid was a hunter. So everybody showed up to school with a gun. You yeah. didn't bring it in the school, but you left it in your vehicle unlocked right outside the school. Uh, everybody wow. had a gun so rack. That's in so everybody. Yeah. One of my English projects in high school, I think it was a junior, one of my English projects, I had to do a project and you know lay it out in a word format and explain what I was doing, but also present it. I brought in a reloader, a shotgun reloader, and reloaded 12-gauge bullets in class. Wow. How crazy is that? You try doing that now? It's crazy. You probably can't do that in Maine now either. I don't think you're even allowed to have guns on school grounds now where in, Maine, in, in, in where I, I mean, where I went to school. Though. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean listen, I'm not knocking it, but it was just a different time. But it yeah. was it was a safer time too. No you never heard of anybody 60s, doing bro. anything crazy. 60s, <laughs> <probably safe>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was just it was just different, man. Oh, I was gonna say, but I went to school with this kid, my buddy Danny. We were in the same grade, but he, like, matured faster than all of us. I'm telling you, this kid had, like, a full beard, like, shaved. By the, well, He was, like, an eighth grade shaven, had a hairy chest poking out the top of his shirt. This kid was just, like, he was, like, when he was, when he was, I don't know, 16, 17, he looked like he was 30, right? Wow. So um, He was your go-to guy? He was our go-to guy, but there was only one store he could buy at, and it was, like, a 45-minute ride. Oh, wow. So we'd leave high school. We'd jump in his car, leave high school, and we'd drive all the way to Hancock, and there was this little... Run as closed now. It's still there, but I drive by it when I go home. I think it was in Hancock uh, or Brewer. I forget. But anyway, it was quite a ride. And we would jump in a car, shoot up there, and he could go in, and the guy would, the old guy behind the counter would sell beer to him every single time. Wow. Yeah. I had ID. I had ID when I was 17. Really? I had ID. When I was, uh, so what I did is when I was, I think I was 16 or 17, my cousin was 20. So I took all his information, his birth certificate, his address, you know, a couple other things. This is back in the day. Obviously, when you, you can't do, do it, this, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I went to the DMV. I had balls, bro. 16 years old, fucking, <laughs> you know, falsifying fucking yeah, yeah, identification. Yeah. I went to I went to the DMV. And, bro, I'm kind of, no, like, people know who the fuck I was a little bit, you know what <laughs> I mean? And I went to the DMV. I'm like, yeah, I lost my license. Like, okay. They gave me a duplicate. Then I went down to the ABC. And I got an ABC card, alcohol beverage so card. So you were basically And I legit. had Ocean County ID, so I had three forms of ID. Yeah. No one could turn me away. No, yeah, and they yeah. were real. It was from the fucking right, DMV. Right, right, right. And uh, I would get in everywhere. And Who, I, whose info was it? Your cousin? My cousin, cousin yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but you guys really don't look anything alike. No, it was my picture on the ID. Oh, uh, yeah, but when you... Oh, you said you lost it. Okay, yeah. yeah so yeah, I have yeah. my picture on, on the ID. He still has his original. I gotcha. And I have a duplicate. Gotcha. But since I had the other two forms of ID, I was okay. I gotcha. So... I remember going into Stone Pony. I was now okay. So actually, let me rewind the back. So I got it when when he, my cousin turned twenty one. I was at the bar with him That's at Fridays. Right. Fridays, <laughs> both the, the same day. But you had to leave a gap when you went in, right? The bartender knew. What was uh, up, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so when he turned twenty one, I was at the bar, you know, celebrating like I turned twenty one. That's awesome, man. What's and, the age gap between you guys? Like three and a half years, yeah. you know. Um, and then uh, I remember going to the Stone Pony once. And we're trying, I'm trying to get in. The guy's like, you know, I do. I looked fucking young for, for a long time, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's my, I spent my freshman year in college. And I would go to Stone Pony. I give him the ID. He's looking at it. He's like, <laughs> he's like, what's your sign? Yeah, your zodiac. I was like, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> he's like, what? I'm like, I don't know, bro. I don't pay attention to that gay shit, <laughs> right? I'm like, I don't do that stuff, you know. And he's like, sir, <laughs> man, or it was a cop, it was a woman, woman cop, uh, ma'am, can you come take? So I'm like. I'm nervous, you know what I mean? He's a real cop, running my shit. She's running my shit. I was wearing glasses, like fake glasses. She's like, "Uh, are those prescription? I'm like, no, no, they're fake. Because I guess it must say it on the license, you know what I mean? I'm like, no, they're fake. She's like, okay, good. And I walk up, and the guy's like, I'm sorry, man. I'm like, yeah, you're just doing your job. (laughs) Oh, so it it, it passed. Oh, I got in, bro. Oh, that's awesome, man. Hell yeah. I remember when I first moved to Jersey, I went to Stone Pony, just because it's a legendary place. Yeah, And it was a band playing, which usually it is. But, uh, you know, like during... During breaks or whatever, they'd have a DJ come on. And do you know who uh, I was calling BJ the DJ? But he's like uh, he's like a hype guy, you know, big uh, black dude. Know. He works for Shorepoint actually sponsors oh, yeah? sponsors okay, us. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he was emceeing, you know, way back then, bro. That dude still looks exactly. That had to be well, I've been in Jersey twenty three years, so that was a solid twenty years ago. He looks exactly the same. And he's still still doing it. I see him at Beach Cove every Sunday. Black don't crack, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good dude too, man. Really good dude. That's but uh, still doing it, man. Still hyping the crowd. Looks Where? exactly is there a DJ like you did. 
Wait, no. Well, he go. He's all, all over the over place, there. man. He's literally everywhere. But I always see him at Beachcomber. On you know, I just I, I'm a day drinker now. I'm old, so I'm, we go to when I don't have the kids, we'll go to Beachcomber on a Sunday. And he's always he's always emceeing. That's funny. Yeah. Speaking of uh, uh, bands, right? You said uh, bands at Stone Pony. Are you a DJ or a band guy at a wedding? DJ. DJ, huh? Uh, you ever go to this, have you ever have a really good ass band now or like been to a wedding with a banging ass I have band? To think about that. I have been. Where like they pay, play like the music you want to, like you're gonna play a DJ will play anyway. Right. You know what I mean? Uh not that I can remember. No. Yeah, I mean I'm sure I have, but a couple times. I'm usually not, it's a D I would say what, eighty no, percent of the time yeah, it's a DJ? Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. But I definitely been you this prefer a band? No, I mean I don't know. I don't know about a wedding. Probably a DJ for a wedding, but a band like like you think about it, if you're gonna go to a DJ concert or a band concert, I'd probably rather go to a band. I mean, it, it, listen, if it was a really good reputable band, maybe. But I mean, what are the odds that someone's gonna hire a really good reputable band? It's probably gonna be well, some honestly, local time, cover band, right? Yeah, but every, I mean, every time, every time I've been to a wedding, there's the band. The band was fucking impressive. Really? Yeah. I went. Speaking of bands, is a, is a story for you. Maybe this is why I don't like cover bands, but. Um, I went to, this is, again, many, many moons ago, probably 15, 20 years ago. I went to Jank's, and the Nerds were on. Nerds were playing. I think it was the Nerds. I'm pretty sure. They used to play all over. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I haven't heard from them in a, in a while, but uh, they used to play all the time. They were always at Jank's. And they had a pretty good big following, and everybody was out there dancing, and they're jamming away or whatever. And I remember the guy, the, the lead singer, took a big chug of water, and he fucking just spit it all over the crowd. And I was there, and like a little bit hit me, and I remember just thinking... I'm gonna fucking kill this motherfucker, oh, right? Dude. And people loved it. Oh, ah, yeah, People fucking bad. loved it. The girls were fucking loud ah, more. You know, I'm like, like isn't there, dude, uh, just spit on us. Isn't there a band that does that? Does some crazy stuff though? Oh, and you bro. wear, you wear like, you have to wear stuff in the crowd. Oh like yeah, those like, you know. But uh, there's there's a bunch of bands that do crazy shit. But like, um, Ramstein. Remember Ramstein? That song, mm-hmm. do do I yeah, yeah, yeah. Ger- German, I love that German. song. Well, it was the they were they were the. Um, uh, What's his name's first movie? Um, Method Man. And no, Red Man. no, no, no. Uh, you ever see that? Yeah, and He's yeah. like, dude. He's, yeah, putting, yeah, the yeah, yeah, he's yeah, putting the joint. He's putting the joint in his yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. Blunt in his face. Do us, man. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, it was it was the the song for a certain movie, the the theme song for a certain movie. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on it, but anyway, um, that those dudes piss on the crowd all the time. Dude, the lead singer piss on piss the crowd. Piss on the crowd. And the crowd loves no, it. F- that's fucking. Yeah, that's crazy. Dude, that, dude, bro, get the fuck yeah. out. Reservoir of Dogs. Oh, was it? Oh, Reservoir right Dogs. Great movie, man. Great. That movie. is. I haven't seen it. Yeah. So I gotta watch that again. But great. One of my like, favorite. I kind of forget it. I watched yeah. so long. Ago. That is a great movie. Yeah. Dude, Tarantino's the best, man. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm not knocking him. I love his story. I love that he used to work at Blockbuster because he yeah. was such a movie fan. Yeah. Like I love his story. I just I think his earlier stuff was better, man. I just like his earlier stuff. What do you then, mean, as far as like? I just uh, thought Once it was upon a time in Hollywood compared to that. I mean, that's his most recent. Yeah. You, well, I don't even think I saw that. Oh, bro, it's pretty um, good. It's, it's it, I don't know if you, it's kind of slow moving. I know you. Pulp you, you, you need, Fiction you need was so some, good. You need some. Here we go. Here pyrotechnics and. Here we go. Some, here we go. Some, you know. What was the one? I thought where it started getting. I, I started tuning out a little bit. What was the one where? Um, she had the her leg was a gun. Oh, uh, like death trap, yeah, death what, proof or something. Yeah, yeah, whatever that was. I I was like, I wasn't that good, but listen, he's got some amazing movies. Amazing movies. What was the vampire one? Um, there's a vampire one. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, no, no, it wasn't George him. Clooney. Yeah, that but that wasn't his movie. But was it? Uh, uh, that was he was Rodriguez. in it. He was in it. Yeah, it wasn't his movie. Uh, <coughs> Dust till dawn. Dust till dawn. That was the guy Rodriguez. Oh, I think yeah, you're right. Yeah, I do, yeah I he's kind of right. like a he's yeah, kind of like yeah. a Tarantino. Yeah, I think you're right. Actually, yeah. Um, but what what what, what else? Think Pulp Fiction. Um, Inglorious Bastards. 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 Oh, so good. Django. That's Django. fucking great. Django that's a new one. Unchained, that's, yeah. That might be the my, my, yep. that's fucking great. Bro. He gets away with a lot. Just imagine that. Too. Like, like think about if that was a real a real story. Right. How fu- like when fucking he's like when, when, when Jamie Foxx he's played so that. Good, yo, bro. He's so good, bro. Such a G, dude. Yeah. Walking around like, man, what you eyeballing me for? <laughs> yeah, like, yo, yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. man. That was fucking. Great. I love Jamie. Foxx. Imagine that though. Imagine like think if that story was real. Like, there's <laughs> slaves around. And you're fucking pimping around like telling these dudes what to do. Yep. Yeah, wasn't it wasn't it rumored that what was Tom Cruise's ex? What was her name? Nicole Kidman. No, no, Um, no. after they had the kid together. Wasn't it rumored that Jamie and Katie Holmes were? Yeah, they were. They They were. were, They were together for a while. I don't know if they still are. I don't know either. But they did a movie together, Jamie Foxx and and Tom Cruise. Did they? 
um, collateral damage. I wonder, yes. I wonder if that's how that kind of that kind of sprung Could him out. Be. Could know? be. He's. Did you see? I seen a picture of him, bro. He looks like of Tom Cruise. He looks the same. No, bro. The I new seen, Top I Gun see, movie. No. Nah, oh yeah, there he looked the same. But I seen a picture of him, bro. He looked heavy. Really. His hair looked thin and shit. Really. Yeah. He didn't look good, bro. I saw some girl posted it, but it was her. It was him getting dropped off. You saw like an aircraft carrier in the back, and she was like, "Oh my god, it's Tom Cruise!" And he stopped, and, went, and I was like, "Holy shit, he looks just like he did in Top Gun." Yeah, no, I you mean, I, every movie he's he's in, he looks the same. Right. But this, I don't know, unless it was Doctor or something. I'm like, damn, he don't look too good. <laughs> really? Wow. You know, he does all his own stunts. I know. Too. I know. Motorcycle drive and everything. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of guys that do that. I mean, Jackie, I think he Jackie broke, Chan is the he, one that always got recognized. He broke his ankle, too, and it's kept, kept going. Really? Yeah, kept the moving. Yeah. A lot of it's green screen stuff, you know what I mean? But Yeah, still. but no, a lot of shit is fucking sketchy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think, didn't he have Cameron Diaz? He put, like, he was riding Cameron Diaz through, the, through a, a scene on a, a motor, like, right. really doing it. Yeah, But that, aren't they usually on a trailer? Oh, I'm sure, but I, I, I think he did it for real. He, you think he was actually How do they film something like that When you're actually Because I mean It's all about throttle control And how close you are to the camera That's incredibly hard yeah, To know. do If you're actually Controlling the motorcycle yourself But if you're on a trailer You yeah. know what I mean And that's how they maintain That well, angle and the distance to, to and, this thing I saw I think he really, did yeah. Maybe Hey listen maybe I'm sure it makes it A lot harder to film But Maybe What do you call You ever you're, uh, In a movie Like the one shot You ever see that mm-hmm. Like it's it's like one like there's no splicing. It's uh, like a one shot single take. Yeah, yeah, nineen seventeen. That's the longest single shot. I didn't see them. I don't know if I saw it. But oh, it's long, a so single really? one scene single one shot. No, yeah, no, no cuts, no edits, nothing, that, wow. no edits. That's pretty wow. wild. You know, that is pretty wild. It's a movie called nineteen seventeen. I yeah, gotta watch it's it. About World War One. Okay. And like some guy, like his brother, his brothers, like behind enemy lines, and they have to save him or something like that. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a, no, it's a current movie. It's like, it's like was filmed recently. Yes. Okay. It's, it's not. It wasn't okay. filmed in 1917. No, obviously, but it could have been <laughs> filmed in 1950. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking guy. Uh, yeah, they, they, that's what they did. Single shot because they only had, you know, <laughs> that's all they had back then. <laughs> oh, dude. What's your favorite movie? Do you have a favorite movie? I Stand got by you. me. That's your favorite movie. I love Stand by That's me. That's a fucking you know phenomenal. What? It's That's a, a Stephen phenomenal King movie. movie. I know. You know I know. And I, I, before he got political, I was a huge Stephen King fan. I still am of his work, you know. But um, like I just related to those kids and the way they grew up so fucking much. Like where I grew up, small town, mm-hmm. walking the railroad tracks. I I walked railroad what, tracks. Where did that supposed to take place? Where was that Maine? one? That was Maine? Maine. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? You're pot, no, pot, pot, not positive. I don't think it was no. Maine. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm where, not positive. Where was Stand by Me? Where was it? I don't know, care where it was filmed. What's the premise of yeah, where yeah, it yeah. was? Where, uh, what do they call it? The setting. Right? The, setting. the setting. I'm pretty sure it was Maine. But I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. All his shit's up there. A lot of it, yeah. yeah. Um, the Pet Cemetery house is only maybe 20 miles from where I grew up. That one's creepy, bro. Yeah. That yeah. was a creepy Bro, movie. the worst part of that movie for me, I don't know about for you. I mean, you know, the cat's always jumping out, scaring the shit out of you. The little but kid. Well, the little kid that cut the old man's Achilles tendon from under uh, the bed. They, they like, slowed that down, and he cuts the guy, uh, and he falls down. I'm like, ah! Yeah, dude. I remember cringing on that one. Oregon. Oregon. Ah, good, good, good. Look at you, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to give you some knuckles on That's that the opposite one. side, bro, but yeah, close, close, close enough. Okay. I was way off on that. But. There was some good... Uh, that was... Uh, River Phoenix. Yeah, a lot of big actors in that. Corey Feldman. Feldman. He's dead right now, too? No, the other one, I think. Uh, Corey, Corey Haim, Haim is, is dead. dead yeah. Yeah. Corey Feldman, though, didn't he come out and say he got, like, you know, pedophilia in Hollywood and shit? Yeah, so probably he'll be dead bro, soon. I, I just seen some crazy shit, bro. They're trying to call, like, they're trying to fucking make pedophilia normal. I know. Right? And I seen something they called, they didn't call it pedophilia, they called it uh, attracted to minor person. Like, minor, minor attracted person. Like what the fuck? Like they, it's trying to make it okay. Just uh, what's going on in our schools now? What I mean, they're they're normalizing sexuality to kids. Well, and then I just seen another so thing. Young, and this is like a, this is a presentation at a college. Something where <laughs> right hand privilege, <laughs> right hand privilege. The world's set up for right. What people. isn't privilege now? Uh, Somebody's got. It's fucking insanity, man. It's I'm, insanity. I'm like, I'm like Dustin Poirier's left hand, bro. He's got. He's fucking fighting for the world title, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah, it it's, is definitely. 
Absolutely fucking crazy. It is. So, okay, movies. Bond. So, are you, were you into any Bonds? I used to. I used to I watch haven't watched any of the new ones. I really. haven't either. I hear yeah. they're phenomenal. I hear the, the new one's yeah. really, really good. I'll what's, the, what's the new guy? That's... Daniel Craig. Yes. Yeah. But the, a, the, the, my guy, who's who's Bond? Who Who's your, who's uh, your Bond? Uh, oh, God. There was, um, who was the guy with the, with the gray beard? Uh, shit. Well, I can't think of his name. He's the Bond. He's the original yeah, one. Yeah. Sean Connery. Sean Connery, yeah. Fucking great, bro. Yeah, he was great, yeah. For sure. Um, and then Pierce Bronson. And Pierce. Dalton. Dalton yeah. was one. Yeah. Was there another? Uh, Roger Moore. Oh, Roger Moore. Yeah. And now this. So who's going to be, who's going to be the next one? Mm-hmm. I heard they were saying, uh, they're trying to make, uh, Idris Elba. I think he'd be good. Who is it? Idris Elba. I don't know. What's uh, he in? The Wire. Oh, The Wire. Yeah, is okay. he in The Wire? Yeah, it's a stranger Uh, uh, um, what else? He, he, Movies, what's he in? Yeah, uh, oh, um, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw? You never saw that, the one fucking, this guy. The Rock, The Rock. <laughs> oh, movie, yes. You know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, where yeah. he's like, Black Superman, yeah, it, yeah, he says? Yeah, Because yeah. he's got the English accent. So many things. Yeah. It's like hard to remember. Yeah. yeah. He uh he got the good accent. Who else? Oh, Tom Hardy, I think is another guy. Tom he Hardy might, would he be a good, be good one. He'd be a good one. But I don't know though. I feel like as Tom Hardy's too to me. I mean, he'd be. I'm sure he could doctor himself up to make good. But he seems like too rough around the edges. Where Most like Bond's his, like the sophisticated guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Most of his roles are. They're looking for someone in their thirties. The first someone time in their thirties. Why to to to, yeah, uh, to they keep want a younger? Home. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then, then a pro- I wonder who the first be um, Tom Hardy movie I ever watched is is I think I think it was his first movie. I could be wrong, or his first movie that actually had any viewers. Um, Bronson, do you watch that? Yeah, it's, where, where, it was where he good, plays, bro. He, to, he plays both roles. But what do you mean both roles? He he's the is guy. It? He's the guy that went. It's based on a true story. He's the guy that went to prison. That only got a sentence for like I don't know again. Wait, I, maybe I didn't see it. Got I, a thought, I thought for it like, has the bro- he two got, brothers. Like, he plays two brothers. I thought that's that's the, there's a movie where he plays both characters and they're brothers. Jeez, that's maybe, not Bronson. Maybe. I haven't seen it. It's been a long time, so I, I uh, maybe maybe I got that wrong. But anyway, the premise was he went to prison. He got like a five year sentence or something, but he kept fucking up in prison so much he ended up you know doing life. No, my, the one I'm thinking of something different. Um, and he was oh, constantly yeah, like, fighting uh, the. Shit. He was naked about the whole movie because they 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 stripped him down and just beat his ass every day and he fought him every day. It was crazy. Bronson is yeah. like yeah, I did it. That was they the tortured story. that guy in prison, bro. Tortured him. That's a true story. Said based on a true story, and he took it like a champ, bro. No well, matter what they did to him, he movie, didn't give a. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they say you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always feel like when they say based on a true story, oh, they embellish the shit out of yeah, it. But there's of certain parts of it. There's true. He still had to be a tough son of a bitch, you know. Oh, the guy himself, yeah, Bronson himself, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a best yeah, of tough. The one I'm talking about. Oh, so he did. He, he played, played uh, Charles Bronson, Michael Peterson. That's the same. No, no, I'm thinking the the. Oh, man, what's the? What, I'm gonna, no, no, it's 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 the. They're two brothers. They call them. Uh, yeah, right, Ronnie and Reggie Cray. Yeah, Cray. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that's yeah, why they yeah, like, go Cray, Cray, go Cray, Cray. That's from that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. He played because he played one. The one brother was a fucking lunatic, and he played the other brother. Yep. I mean, they were both lunatics, right. but the one brother was like even crazier. Right. And he played both of those roles. What was the fighter movie where he fought his brother? Oh, um, fighter, I think. Right. Was it called the fighter? Or one, yeah, where, where the, they both made it uh, to Tom, like the, Edgerton. They didn't right? talk for like yeah, their whole Edger- adult life. Edgerton. And... Tom is it? Tom Edgerton was the other guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Edgerton, I think, was the guy. Uh, well, as a fighter, what was your take on that? Remember Gladiator back in the day, the movie, bro, the fighter movie, Gladiator? Fuck, that's one of my favorites. Fucking great wait, movie, wait, bro. Wait, wait. Not with wait. not with Russell Crowe. No. You mean with the boxer? With the young Cuban kid. Cuban Gooding Jr. And he he fights the older guy, and the yeah, older guy keeps yeah, stuck uh, in his head uh, down, and he goes, Dennehy. top of the head. Yeah, top strongest, of the heart, Hardest part of the body. body. Yeah, yeah it's so I good. I fucking love that That was movie, a good man. movie, bro. Not many people really know about good. that. Yeah, Gladiator. Yeah. Great movie. Hell yeah. He breaks his hand. Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. was in that, yes. Yeah, that was great. Really good movie. I, I don't think whatever happened to that that that, that actor. I don't know. I don't know. He he played that role very well though. But that the guy that that was the old guy. It was Tommy, was uh, in uh, Tommy Boy. That's yes. the dad. That's yes. the dad in Tommy yes. Boy. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Richard Dennehy, I think his name is. Yeah, I think shit. you go. I think you yeah. got that, bro. Yeah. Good, good call. You you gonna watch the new Superman? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dude. 
So no, I, I think I got to confuse. Like it's Superman's son, right? It's not Superman. I don't know. I'm I think not... that's what someone said. I don't know. It's Superman's son, but he also has Superman's ability. I don't know if he's gonna be the new Superman, but he's gay. It's like, dude. Lois Lane, bro. Right, right. Not Lewis Lane. <laughs> right. Lois Lane. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The fuck are we doing here? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's just why, why? And like, okay, so who else? Robin. Robin's gay. Um, Ro- Robin Ro- was no, always. Robin's Robin was always a little gay. I know, though. I know. In those tights, who? Uh, uh, um, well, Saturday, Thor's brother. Thor's brother. Saturday. Loki. Loki. In that, in that, in that film, yeah. he came out as he's uh, he, he go, goes both ways. Like, why does? Why do you think that's non-binary? Ask him? Yeah. No, 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 not my. Uh, he just, he's just bisexual. Oh. So, I'm like, why? But why does it matter yeah, for the it... for the character? Why does it yeah, matter? I know. Like, I guess it does in the love interest of Lois Lane. But the... But well, well, that does. That's, yeah. it, that's but, but, that, but I'm saying it's not a critical for, for, part of the for movie. Robin and for Loki, like why? Like there's nothing about right, that. You right, know what I mean? Why yeah. do you have nothing to bring I that up? I don't understand it, man. Everything is getting sexualized now. Everything. Yeah, like it. It doesn't. Who cares? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Who do you Who do you think will play Bond? Should play Bond. I thought Tom Hardy was not a bad suggestion. I don't know. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> he doesn't have an accent though. He could probably fake it. Yeah, I think you got to have at least an English guy play, right? Yeah. Everybody so far has been English, right? Well, Scott Connery, or uh, Scott, Sean, uh, Sean Connery is Scott, Scottish. Scottish, yes. You know? yeah. oh, give her a little schmack on her cheek. You ever <laughs> hear that? You ever hear that interview with her? No. Interv- uh, it, supposedly he was like uh, doing an interview, and he's like, you know, sometimes if uh, my lady gets a little Giggle. mouthy, you have to give her a little schmack. <laughs> give her a little schmack on her mouth. <laughs> really? And yo, de- being dead serious. And nobody fucking said anything. Sometimes they get a little mouthy. It's come a little smack on the mouth. <laughs> and grab them right by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I told Renee that too. She's like, no, 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 don't fucking try it. <laughs> oh, Henry C- Cavill. Henry Cavill. Cavill, Cavill, the guy who played Superman. He might be good too. Yeah. He's English? Um, yeah. Yep. Really? Mm-hmm. Trains Jiu Jitsu too. Did you see the Black Adam trailer? I didn't. Oh, it didn't really. It wasn't really a trailer. It was just like they like showed like ten seconds. It's a rock, right? It's a rock. But yeah. like, yo, Bosley Black Adam, they're saying like the DC. I think when they said like the DC hierarchy, hierarchy of who's who is going to change. So of course they're going to make the Rock the fucking baddest guy in the world. Of course they're going to make him kill, speed up Superman. Of and course. Shit. Of course. Which whatever, it's cool. Yeah. Got to keep it going. You're but like, it he's a bad guy, though. Right, right, right. right. Or he's, I think he's like an anti-hero, maybe. Oh, is he? You know what I mean? I don't know. Because like, how What's can the you best? A- See, I'm not into this world at all. I really am not. And they just had Comic-Con in New York, too. But what is the best superhero ever for you? Oh, like, I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. Who do I like? Yeah. I mean, what happens? What superhero would you want to be? Okay. I'll go oh, with that. That's go fine. Ahead. Oh, me? Um, I, mean, I think Superman. Yeah. Right? right? I mean, he's the fucking... The strongest, he shoots lasers, he can fly. That's indestructible. Kryptonite. This is my thing. Oh, kryptonite, kryptonite, right? This is Superman, but lead, right? Remember, lead stops kryptonite. Why does he just make a fucking suit out of lead? <laughs> it's not heavy for him. It's nothing for him, <coughs> right? That is true. You team up with Batman. Yeah. But if you pick a Batman apart, to make him you, a suit out of lead, if you and pick that's apart it. any superhero movie, you can always come up with shit that just doesn't add up. You know? No, of course. Well, like Batman has no superpowers, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but he's so prepared. Right? Like, that's what they say. Oh, he's, yeah, yeah, he has. Yeah. He has. He's, he's Batman a, he has, has a, a utility plan. belt. Yeah, but he's, he's a, he has a plan belt. for everything. Yeah, and he knows everybody's weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Too. That's what they say. Yeah. I always thought Wolverine was pretty dope too. That's a pretty dope guy. Wolverine. I mean, think about the, the regeneration power. That'd be pretty dope. Well, what's his name? Um, I, I'm the worst with the shit because I'm not a superhero fan. But um, the dude with the swords, fucking Deadpool. Deadpool De- yeah. Deadpool's got regen yeah, power too, does, and that, that's pr- I'd yeah. probably be Deadpool. Deadpool. What, yeah. you wanna, you wanna, He's sarcastic you as want, fuck. Wanna, kills everybody. You look like you're a burn victim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's not weird though. He why can't he regenerate his burn victim skin? Yeah, true. You know. True. I but again, that, oh, that happened we're, before. We're picking apart superhero saying, movies. That they never make sense. Yes, they do. Okay, kind of. You just made a couple points. Well, no, I, I don't know, but I think he got hurt. I think he had that and then got the power. You know. Well, so. that was part of him getting the power, wasn't uh, it? Yeah, I think you're right. Remember, he got captured. They put him in a thing, and he's being a smart ass. Yeah, the guy yeah. they're torturing yeah, him. Yeah, and yeah. I wonder if that's exactly how the comic went too. But. Captain Roger. Want to be Captain Roger? Captain Roger. 
What's the 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 weakest fuck? What's like what's fucking superpower? We're like, oh, get out of here with that shit. What's the, what's the weakest one? I don't know who like who <sighs> wouldn't you want? All the girls love Aquaman just because he's good looking. Yeah, but, Aquaman. I mean, yeah, get fuck Aqu- Aquaman. Aquaman probably doesn't. He talks to yeah. fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Aquaman. What? He doesn't really have any superpowers, does he? Nah, he's pretty damn strong. Controls though. things in the ocean, right? No, he can swim fucking like faster, like he just fast as fuck. Okay. And he's strong as shit. Throws whales out of the fucking ocean. Right, but you know I mean, mean, of all the superheroes, that's I don't know. That's probably the worst one I can think. He's of. a fucking handsome bastard. That's what I'm saying. Him. Girls, <laughs> girls love him. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, how about this? Go ahead, buddy. Um, what did we you got? see the Batman trailer? That looks pretty good, actually. No, I did not see it. Yeah, you know who playing him is playing him. Who? Robert Pattinson. Oh really? Yeah. From uh, Twilight. Mm-hmm. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh shit. I, I seen it. The trailer looked really good. No shit. Yeah. Dark. Looks My like girl. He's, like he's he's like a he looks like a fucking evil one. I like it. Is a huge Twilight fan, and of course I'd never watched it. Made me sit down and watch all four of and them. And you love back it now. to back. And you love no. it. You're saying, "Oh, they're pretty good. No, pretty bro. good." She it kept saying, better. "It was better than Squid Game." <laughs> <laughs> it was. She kept saying, "You gotta wait. There's a fight scene at the end that is so good. You're gonna be so into it." So, oh, bro, so I'm whack. struggling through the whole thing. Right? It's not a bad movie, but it's a chick movie for sure. And I get to see the fight scene. I was like, "Wait, that's that. That's what I was fucking waiting Nothing for." Nothing blew up, thing. honey. <laughs> <laughs> but she would watch it every single night. Every single night, she would watch it on repeat. She's that into it. She's like, "I just want to be one of them." So I'm like, "Which one would you hook up with, the vampire or the werewolf?" She's like, "The vampire," which is Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Pattinson. Yeah. I mean. Probably wouldn't you like who think of if there's a lady vampire or a lady well, werewolf? Who would you hooking up with? <laughs> I like hairy chicks, so. Oh yeah, but you hit uh, a doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they, she's like, then you'd have eternal life too. But I'm like, they're all miserable because they have eternal life. Every vampire I've ever seen is like, I'm yeah. oh, fucking. Legends, what's, what's, I'm, no, what's the one? Um, yeah, I'm 900 years old, still fucking I, I, traipsing this earth. Like, what's what's the one? Um, with Brad Pitt and uh, Tom Cruise, what's that? Uh, Legend something, no, right? Le- you just no, said no, it. I said Legends of the Fall. It's a different movie, but it's, the, it's Vampire uh, Diaries. Vampire Diaries. Is, is that, that it? That? Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That was a fucking pretty good movie. Yeah, that, well, that was, was it. Right, Brad Pitt hated being a right, vampire. Right, yeah. right, right, right. What's yeah. that? What's that? Was the other guy? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to. No one want to be a vampire. You think we have to kill people to live? It's kind of right. fucked up. Because you have blood lust and then you have real lust, right? But you're never satisfied, right? Isn't that the whole thing? What, like, from the blood? Right. Well, you have mm-hmm. blood lust, but you're never, you need it to, to, to live, survive. To, to, to survive as a vampire, but it do, it's, not, it's not fulfilling in any way. And then you also have like lust lust, but there's, there's no sustenance to it because the person you fall in love with always dies, right? Right, unless you turn into a vampire. Right, right. right. Which is kind of the premise of Twilight. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't watch him. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't fucking watch Twilight? What an idiot. I think I watched. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I watched one of them. For my six well, in real old. life. For my six-year-old. <laughs> I can't believe I know this, but um, the girl, what's her, I forget her name, but they, and, yeah, Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson yeah, dated yeah. in real life during oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, if I remember this, and I can't even believe that I fucking know this, but um, she filmed another movie after that and like was got caught cheating with the director or something, I think. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Did you get that in the OK magazine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a it was a it was a long line at the supermarket and I was reading the Inquirer. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man, like think about it. Think people used to love the Inqui- National Enquirer and mm-hmm. stuff. And now it's just right on fucking My mom now used it, to read it. Now it's just that that's right on fucking social media. I now, know. Right? I don't think she ever bought it cuz yeah, she but just browsed she, it. Yeah. yeah, when you're standing in the house, yeah. she would browse it, but I remember when I was a kid, it was always something about somebody being abducted by It's still there. There's a still farmer there. Are, was abducted there? from pro- I, think, I don't know. Uh, the Enquirer, I think it's yeah. still published, but right, yeah. once the internet came out, it ruined all publications yeah, ba- basically. True. true. You know, a big one was um, Playboy. You know, I mean, that guy at one point, I don't know what Hugh Hefner was worth, but we just went up to Vernon. Um, <laughs> oh, you said Donald Trump. Did you know Donald Trump was like, well, Donald Trump must be a fan of fucking Twilight, too. <laughs> this is his tweets. 
After Friday Friday's Twilight release, I hope Robert Pattinson will not will not be seen in public with Kristen. She will cheat on him again. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Robert Pattinson is putting on a good face for the release of Twilight. He took my advice on Chris, Kristen Stewart. There's I no hope. way he actually tweeted that. Yes. There's no fucking way. Yes, That's fake it's 2012, shit. bro. Yes. Oh, 2012. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh. In 2012, he was it's okay. <laughs> he could be a fucking gossip queen. <laughs> I don't think he would post that now, but I thought... Oh, yes, he would, dude. Get the fuck out of here. He can't. I know, I He know. can't. Everyone has asked me to speak more on Robert and Kristen. I don't have time except to say, Robert, drop her. She cheated on you and, and will again. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows I'm right with Robert Price. should dump Kristen. In a couple of years, he will thank me. Be smart, Robert. <laughs> Yo, that guy was the president four years later, bro. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So good. Shit. You can't believe everything you read. Like I said, I saw I, Twitter. I was telling you, yeah, but you, I mean, like maybe he did write that, but who fucking knows? But like today, on fucking Instagram, saw this. It looked like a legit memo, but it said Canada, um, you know, government of Canada or whatever sends out memo to all people in in the government, stating that if any email includes the words "Let's go, Brandon," you will be immediately terminated. And I was like, holy shit! But you know. Stranger things have happened in Canada. They don't have a First Amendment. They they don't have freedom of speech. So I was like, wow, that's crazy that they would actually do that. I mean, let's go Brandon. Somebody could actually be a Brandon fan, you know what I mean? And I read it, and then I just did some research when he came down here because I was going to bring it up. Apparently, it's fake. So. He put his glasses on. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did the research. Just let you know. <laughs> but would you be surprised? I wouldn't be. No, I know. Not in this I would not be surprised. Honestly, I don't think there's anything to surprise me. Nothing. Now. At this point, <laughs> you know? nothing. Literally, Bro, I have about, no shock value. Nothing about, surprises me. Is he Kanye West? Look, got divorced. Uh, I think they already got divorced. No, they? they just got divorced. They just—I think they just finalized it. Okay, well, you, I, I kind of knew that, but they were, but no, he changed his name. To now to what? Yay. 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 Like officially, it's yay. yeah. They they, they granted him. <laughs> yay. Wow. I guess you can change your name to whatever. Prince made it. Prince name. made it a you symbol. Name, Here we go. Just Here we a go. jur. Here we go. Right, jur. 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 Just jur. Jur. <laughs> hey, jur. <laughs> <laughs> Change yours to key. 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 What's key. up, key? Hey, sure. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Demi Lovato. Yes, Did you see that? This she person. said She's woke it's, as it's, fuck. It's 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 uh, not good to call aliens aliens. aliens yeah, it's negative. It's derogatory. Negative derogatory. <laughs> if if words Literally, words hurt your feelings that bad. You should just check the fuck out. Like, what? It's going to be torment to live on this planet. And where's the line? What if I say applesauce is a horribly offensive word? Do do people have to stop saying it? I mean, yeah. I where's don't, the I, limit? I'm, I'm, I, I'm, 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 not, I'll say I'm a anything. huge supporter of the First Amendment, and I think I'm a pretty good advocate of it because I've been called every fucking heinous, horrible thing in the world, and I defend that person's right to say it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> they have every right to say it. That's what that's what freedom of speech is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more important. Not, it's more yeah. important that it that it protects offensive speech than it ever is. That it. Well, what it, does it say? A uh, good speech fights like that. That stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like uh, again, like we talked about last week. That's why comedy is so important. You know, Dave oh, Chappelle yeah, is yeah, taking so much yeah. shit. They are the front line warriors of the First Amendment. They really are. I've seen something. Someone <laughs> tweeted like. Chad and Tatum, uh, uh, you know, talks about no, oh, uh, I guess uh, gives his take on what Dave Chappelle said. Like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> who gives a fuck? What he slammed him? No, I don't know. He, oh. But it, it was on CNN, so he must have slammed him. <laughs> you know? So did you see that? Do we? I don't know. Well, we talk, did we talk about it yesterday, last week, about Sanja Gupta? Was on. Rogers? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We did touch on it a little no, bit. No, I don't think so. I don't think so because. No, we didn't. We, we definitely didn't. talked about it in private then, because yeah, I remember just talking today, about just it. Today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah, you're right. It was today. Yeah, yeah. But um, I thought Rogan did great. Did I, great. But yeah. you know, did you listen to the whole thing, or you just you just watched the highlights? <laughs> <laughs> the highlights, just the highlights. Because when you when you watch the highlights, it does seem like it's this fucking intense thing. When <clears> it was very cordial. And the guy, the guy seems doesn't seem like a bad guy. And, and you know, he has his beliefs. Mm -hmm. And. I, it's almost the point where some people are like, oh, they have a gender. Like, this guy believes in it. He really yeah. does, you know? Well, I think, I think what Rogan did well was point out hypocrisies. That yeah, why why course, people yeah. are struggling with it is because of the hypocrisy behind it, you know? Well, he, this guy admitted. Yeah, he did. This guy admitted right. that natural immunity is six to 20 times, 24 times they don't better. Know. They don't know. Yeah, than, right, right. Than the and vaccine. here's my question. As a guy who had COVID, you should, this should be 
in, you know, interesting to you as well. There's no real studies on how long do those antibodies last I know, for. I know. Well, you guess know what I mean? What? You know, SARS. They're saying three months. That seems to be the key thing. But no, that, who knows? Bro, it's bullshit because fucking <clears throat> Rogan, uh, his producer, has got it like a year ago, mm-hmm. and has and they get the antibody test every every time for every time. Mm-hmm. Still has fat ass. Yeah. Right. A- antibodies. Right. So, so there is a measure to it. Then I sent you the the link that I was talking about. You can measure, it, but it's, I think it's a separate uh, 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 test. Well, well, well the, the, the way they they sound off. Like if you measure, just get an antibody said, test, I think s- it's yeah, but, I think it's positive or negative. But I think you no, can get no. A, but there's a line, right? They said there's a line. So if your line's weak, right. you might have as many. I think but if it's fat, I, listen, yeah, I could I be wrong, but I think that's a separate test to figure out where your antibody levels are. I think. Mm, can you Google know. that? You know, when you get an antibodies test, obviously but, you're you're po- okay. you're positive or negative. But I think there's there's Frankie saying in the same antibodies test, you'll get a measure of what you have for no, antibodies. I, I didn't say that. I oh. said I just said it's it's thicker. If the line is like a pregnancy test, but, that, the, that, but isn't that a measure or no? I would get. I mean, yeah, but I don't think it's like it doesn't have like a number to it. It just looks thick. Well, I believe there is a, a separate test that you get that yeah, can tell you know. where your levels are. I believe I could be wrong. I'm wrong. I'm sure, I would imagine, right? Why, why couldn't they do that? Because I got my results back, and I don't see any. Yeah, there's so, nothing on it. So it just maybe, says it just says not. positive, you know. So I don't know what my levels. And then what? That's when you got what? Oh, a while ago. Oh, yeah, a while ago. Like I forget when it was, but um, you know, I went in because my my I, you know the story. I've told it a hundred times, but I I had to get. I was trying to do the right thing. My daughter got sent home from school. She had to get tested. Um, I told you the 48-hour thing where she had a negative, a positive, yeah, and a yeah, negative yeah. all in 48 hours, which makes no sense again. But I wanted to do the right thing. I work with some people with comorbidity, so I called the day that I found out she tested positive. My work said, well, go get a go get a test and see if you have it, which, again, made no sense because I got the test. It came back negative, and they said, well, you got to quarantine anyway. Well, I could have just stayed home. Why did yeah. I even come in? You know, so that's when I said, give me the antibodies test because I'm pretty sure I probably had it at some point, even though I never felt sick. Got the antibodies test and I have the antibodies. So yeah. I did have it at some point. In time. Yeah. Well, the SARS, the first SARS or something like from like 20 years ago, people still have antibodies 18 that's years my point. later. So they don't know. That's it's, my point. Some people say, I mean, I've heard some people say they think you can get lifelong immunity from this. Right. Well, if you had chicken pox, right? Yeah. As a kid, yeah. you can't get it as an adult, right? No. no. I don't know if this is that way either, but right. Well, it certainly would be related to antibodies, though. No. Yeah, well, yeah, it would have to be I natural guess. immunity. And I seen a quote from Doctor Doctor Fauci. <laughs> I seen a quote. He's saying like natural immunity is the best vaccine there is. And oh wait! No, no, this is not about this. It's not about oh. this. It was an old quote. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, wait, when did that happen? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well. That makes sense to me. I mean, your body, by design, has an immune system for a reason, and that immune system does really, really well. Not yeah. Well, let's get off this. Okay. Is there anything you'd want wanted to do in your life that you didn't get to do, or like like you know, not not like, not even like do something, but like maybe learn something. I would. I would have. I would love to travel more, see more of the world, mm. experience more culture. I think, you know, if you profess to, there's so many people that either hate the U.S. or love the U.S., no matter which side you stand on, you can't really weigh that with any certainty unless you've traveled, you know? And right, I feel like right, I've yeah. traveled a, a fair amount, but I'd like to travel more. Mm. I'd like to experience more culture and not touristy-like or not, you know, you're like you're kind of known now. I guess I'm a little bit known. Like, it would almost be nice to be completely unknown and go to, you know, like... I always talk about that. It's like... Uh, I feel like you when get you go, special When you go to New York City, yeah. bro, you, you get... It's like being lost in a crowd. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, like, you're alone in a crowd. It's right. like... It's pretty cool. Right. You know? And that's what I think you're talking about. For sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's times where, you know, you can use it to your benefit, the fact that people know who you are. But I think most of the time, I'd like to fly under the radar and just yeah. be... Well, no, it's, especially it's, uh, on see, vacation away. I know, especially. but it's probably tough for you. You're a fucking giant. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people don't recognize me a yeah. lot because I'm fucking. Really? I fit in, bro. I'm a fucking normal. I've been around. I mean, definitely around here, people do. Yeah, sure. no, they do. I they do places, but I feel like I, you know, you're gonna get noticed mm. more than I will, mm. for sure. Yeah, I guess maybe you know? just stature wise. I, oh, you know, when I was when I was married and and you know with my ex or whatever, 
she would always say, you're like a flag over my head. Nobody sees me. They see you. And then they're like, holy shit, this, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's true. Now you're more like a noose over my head. <laughs> <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> No, my thing is black like, cloud, I'm, man. Black yeah, cloud, yeah, yeah, yeah. black cloud. I'm like a, uh, I'm like a little kid though. Like I'll watch some something, and I'm like, I want to fucking do that. Like I, I was watching Forge and Fire. Yeah, like, this is when I was a quarantine, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I was fucking quarantined for my first <laughs> And I'm like, damn, I want to make fucking nice. knives and shit. That'd be cool. And then I'm watching like some restoration fucking car show. I'm like, oh man, I want an old car. I want to yeah. fucking fix that up. That is so much work though. I, I know, follow a bunch that, of guys yeah, that do it, yeah, but as yeah. a, not the knife thing. I actually follow a guy locally that makes them, and he makes insane knives. Really? But yeah. I follow um, some car guys that I mean, the the time invested in that is yeah. insane, bro. To do like here, full uh, Chip Foose, called, you ever watch Chip Foose? No. Nah. He he designed some of the. This he guy, takes like old school cars, but uh, does like a modern mm, flair to them. Mm. They just look so sick. This guy, I don't know what it was. It's called uh, Rust Valley, I think. Okay. You hear? I don't know. Rust Valley is in British Columbia, no? Canada. Oh. And I guess they have tons of old cars up there. Okay. And this guy just has like tons of them in his yard. He's been collecting them for over the years, and he finally created his own shop. So now he's trying to. He's just picking, like, the way it goes, the premise, the beginning of the show, they go around, and they pick a car, like, all right, we're going to fix this and car. Restore it. You know? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yep. I mean, I'm not handy I watch a lot of outdoorsy stuff, and, um, you know. But uh, hunting, bro, that's another thing I want to do, and I'm going to do it. I'll do that with you. I'll tell you, too, I wanted to play the guitar. I tried doing it. Really? I was teaching myself. See, that's something that interests me zero. I, Everything else you mentioned kind of, like, peaks I like especially it, hunting, but I would playing like the guitar, to, fuck that. My f- see my hands. See, yeah, see, yeah, see, yeah, see, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I could do it. Now, what's that from? Obviously, fighting, but... I broke... Well, the tent... Punching the tent or... Uh, no. Grappling, both of these. This happened just like two weeks ago, this w- one. Really? This one's like four years ago. Will that ever come back or no? Never. No. I mean, let's say it's... Not that one, the one that you just did a couple no, weeks ago. No. no. That's, that's a that's torn what's... tendon? Yeah, this tendon right here. You can feel it rolled back. You feel that right here. Oh, no, shit. It you rolled. just did it? Yeah. How? Just grappling. Just like, like, really? This, uh, someone... This is the day I... Yeah. I fucking I don't know what that I fucking I someone just pushed on it and and popped. It, oh popped really? It. Wow. And, I'm, and I remember I'm looking down. I'm like, and I just thought it was my old one. I'm like ah. I'm like oh shit, that's the other one. Oh, what the fuck? fuck. Oh, I've seen kids before, like when I was growing up, you know, in high school and stuff, where people would throw a basketball to them, you know, on the basketball court, uh, and they, they would hit their finger, and it would pop. It. No, it would like uh, pop backwards, and and they'd have to snap it back. It would be stuck like that. You know what I mean? Dislocated. Dislocated. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, my hands are pretty fucked up. I got my foot up there, probably blocking the camera. Good job, Roger. I'm fucking size 11. 14, baby. 14? 14, son. You know what big 14. feet mean? Big socks. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got for me, Frank? Got anything else? No, man, not really. No, no. You uh, you watch football at all? Uh, if Again, I say this all the time. I'm not into tra- tra- traditional sports at all. But I can watch football. A badminton? <laughs> no. <laughs> basketball, you couldn't pay me enough. Sorry, Todd. I love you, brother. But baseball, I don't really get into, although that I can get into baseball more than basketball. Basketball is my least favorite. Football? Like, I can watch football. I love, like, old school football. Kind of like old school boxing back when it was, like, rough and tough or whatever. But... Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean old school boxing? It's rough and tough. It's not as tough now? It's not as rough uh, and tough now? I, I feel like, like... I don't know. I kind of feel like, like I'm Tyson listen, they was went, the, They went 15 rounds. They probably got away with, like, you know, stop. Guys just look so just more beat up back then, you know? Yeah, like well, the, fi- well, especially. You know, you know, it was 15 rounds until Ray Mancini. Was that what? Boom, boom, Ray yeah, Mancini? He, yeah. he killed the guy in the ring. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I forgot. The, a Korean guy. He fought a Korean guy. And it was a 14th round. And that's when he stopped the guy. And I think that's. Dude, it was so. Cr- like, I watched this fight. Mm. I, I went back and watched the fight. It's fucking crazy. The punishment guy, they let that guy oh, take? Well, oh. they were both... It wasn't like he was one-sided. I mean, this guy was fighting back. You know, it was a fucking... Right. Yo, and they're, in the 14th round, they're going after it. Wow. 14 rounds, dude. So wild, man. I know in the UFC there's never been a death, but there has been in an MMA. MMA. I watched one. He didn't die in the ring, but he definitely went down. He died later in the hospital. Yeah, but a lot but, of uh, times it's because watched, they don't do... Like, a lot of those other organizations don't do... Doctor medicals, bef- no, oh, they don't, they don't do give you before. medical divorce. So oh, could have, he could have had something pre-existing. Pre-existing, yeah, know? sure, yeah. Although the the one that I watched, and I remember this was 
a couple of years ago I watched it, but they kind of critiqued the doctor that came in. They said this fight should have been stopped, and mm-hmm. this guy was showing signs of something was seriously wrong, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, it's scary. I mean, you know, hey, it can happen. It can happen. That's yeah. for sure. And uh, you know what? I mean, like it's probably bound to happen in UFC one day, right? Well, I, I, I don't see, know. I, mean, it's I don't been... see how it can't. I mean, I think the UFC. Like a freak thing. I think Dana freak puts thing. an incredible amount of emphasis on fighter safety. See, I really yeah, do. I think sure. I think they're they're really good with that. But like, listen, something could happen for sure. I like mean, Kim, thing, Kimbo you know? Slice was in there fighting, and what he died out. I mean, obviously he didn't die in the UFC. Didn't die from a fight, but he had a massive heart attack, didn't he? Could have happened in the ring. No, I think the guy he fought had a massive heart attack. Oh, well, what did Kimbo die of? He died, yeah. Of what? I thought I it was a heart know. attack. Was it? Thought. I, Look that up. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, maybe, I, maybe I have it wrong, but I thought the guy he fought. But I mean, had what if that had happened in the ring? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Shit. Don't get in there with your high blood pressure, bro. <laughs> 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 so I had a um, heart attack. Yeah. Heart failure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it could have. Listen, it could have happened. Is a heart attack a heart failure? Same thing. I'm pretty sure. All right. There I go. But but, but um, so that speaking of, speaking but that could have been like another thing. Like, say he was a fucking plumber. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just well, I, at, I, at, at whatever age. I agree. However, times up. however, had he died in the ring of the same thing that killed him in the end outside of the ring, would they have taken a criticism for it? I'm sure. You know yeah. what I mean? That was Bellator, though, right? He fought in? Yeah, well, he West, started UFC, West. finished in Bellator. But um, speaking of high blood pressure, it's funny, man, because I guess I have, you know, I've heard it called situational high blood pressure what before. Was it like Mike? What's that? Oh, the situation? <laughs> Fuck a guy. He's a comedian now. Um, when I went in there for my DOT Did physical. You get abs? You get any abs? Abs? I'm like Mike. I don't know. No, I'll never have abs again, but I used to back in the day. But anyway, can I finish? Go for it. Thank you, pal. Went in for my DOT physical, which now I have to go every year because I have high blood pressure. I've only what does DOT stand for? Department, Department of Transportation. Of Transportation. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I so I, um, I have to do it yearly. I used to have to do it every two years, um, and everything was on point. And then once I got on high blood pressure medicine, which has only been like maybe four or five years now, but that, now I have to go yearly. But okay. here's the thing. In that five years that I've been going with high blood pressure, my blood pressure is always, and I know what you're going to say, it's that lab coat, white coat syndrome or whatever. It could be. I've also heard the other term is situational, but I go in, it's always high, right? They take it, my, I was 140 over 96, and I always say the same thing. Take it in 10 minutes, it'll be good. 10 minutes later, if, maybe five minutes later, it was 120 over 86. So then you don't have a high blood pressure. Right, so I'm like, what the fuck? Do I have high blood pressure or don't I? Nah, you know what I mean? Do, bro. And I if I go, like, if I go to the cardiologist, like I got an appointment, I think, next week. Um, if I go, it'll be the same thing. I'll go in there and be like, oh, it's a little high. We want to up your, we want to up your doses. I was like, leave the room, come back in 10 minutes and it'll be good. And it usually is. I I, I think I feel like I have high blood pressure a little bit. Really? Uh, Yeah, I do. I've noticed, but I I think, I think it's the same case. Mine is from anxiety. I I know what mine is No, I think yours, same thing where I get in the thing. I'm like, I I get a little 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 anxious about it, you know? Um, (laughs) How how high was it when you had to shit in front of the, the, um, you saw the guy. Bro, but when I, when I, uh. When I went for my COVID, I told you I had the COVID. I told you I felt like shit, and I decided to go. I'm like, let me get tested. I, I, just, I know my body, bro, because mm-hmm. like I'm fucking on top of my shit all the time. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was like oh, I was overtrained, you know. And then when I woke up, I had a headache, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be a scumbag. Let me just go get. So I wanted to train. It's the same exact reason I wouldn't got tested because yeah. I don't want to be a scumbag right. and just blow it off. Although that's what I felt like doing, yeah. but I was like, other people I'm could honestly, be impacted, so I, you know I did the right in thing. My life, I fucking woke up feeling like shit and right. I still went to the gym. Right, right, you know right, I mean? right, right, right. But your sense of taste and, and smell had nothing to do with you going to get checked? No, that didn't no. happen until okay. three or four days okay. later. All right. Um when, so, I, when I got there, when I got there, my headache kind of subsided and I'm like I'm like, I feel pretty fucking good. I'm like, man, I'm probably bugging, you know? Yeah. And I had I go in there and they did my, you know, oxygen, it was a hundred. Yeah. My pit my my uh rest of heart rate was like fifty nine. Yeah, that's crazy. And my blood pressure was 120 over 80. Yeah, I'm like, perfect. it's never that good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm like, I'm like, I ain't sick. I ain't, they're like, yeah, it's positive. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you did the rapid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. But then I did get sick. I did I, I did feel like shit for a couple of days. You yeah. also did the, the, you sent the test out too? And that PCR, came no. You didn't do that? Okay. No, but I, I what I did, because I thought, <laughs> I thought I was going to, I'm like, I, I don't got this bad. I'm gonna, you know, of course, <laughs> I wanted to get back to the gym. Right. So I went two other times to get tests and they both came back okay. positive. Okay. So that that was straight then. Yeah, my my. I, mean, daughter, I could tell I was tired. I was tired. Yeah. The one day I was tired, you know. Yeah. But I didn't take shit. 
I just took my vitamins. That's it. And that's do you it. Take, do you take zinc daily? Always. Yeah, me too. Honestly, like, like What's zinc, a, here's vitamin a, here's D. Here's a question for you. What is the difference between, well, anything really, because I think you can get almost anything in a chelated form. What does that mean? What does chelated, chelated mean? I don't know. I know. It's like I take potion. chelated zinc because I heard it was better, but I don't even really know what the fuck it means. Uh, that's a question for Renee. I'm sure she knows. Okay. All right. Yeah. Or, but, uh, or a question for Andrew. Yeah. We could go but, to Andrew. But like, <laughs> I remember when when COVID first came, you know, came out and everything. I mean, people, I heard people saying, "Oh, you got to take zinc, mm-hmm. vitamin D, and vitamin C." I'm like, I've been taking those my same, whole life. Same. You know? Me too. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I take a multivitamin, but I take those separately too. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Me too. I take the the Centrum Silver Senior. Uh, do I you? take the Senior do you, do you for you over really? fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really? <laughs> I don't know why. I just bought. I saw it the other day. I was like, "Why the fuck did I buy that?" I wasn't was going to take cheaper? it back. Was it cheaper? Maybe you might get the 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 senior citizen discount on it. So. There's a lot of calcium in there. Yeah, probably. I'm the old guy at the counter now that counts out the coupons. And yeah, you guys, I argue with the guy if they're like get, three days expired. You get discount I'm like, movies too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chelated. I don't know. What that means. It means uh, it bonds with a metal. So oh, like bond. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I always say. Uh, like they want soluble is always like a, a way to take it too. Okay. Well, uh, apparently, I am. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, buddy. I take that. I take. Uh, I take Kusermin. What is it called? Kusermin. It's kind of like in turmeric. Turmeric. Yeah, I take turmeric. Yeah. Yeah, which well, that's Kusermin is the, is, the, okay. the, is what you want, and that's very good to take because yep. it helps with uh, anti-inflammatory. Right. Correct. And they say like it's in curry. Yep. Kusermin is in curry. Tur- the curry green. Yeah, well, any colors. I think I think curry is all different colors, but yeah. I think the the, the turmeric in it. They say in India, like Alzheimer is not very prevalent because of they have so right? much curry and so much turmeric in their diet. Wow. Yeah, I take it every yeah. day because of that because yeah. the anti aging properties. Fish oils is really good too. Fish oils. Yep. I don't take a fish oil. I used to. I should start taking should. it. I don't know why. E- what, what's it called? EPO and D D H A. I think it's called. I think so. Not EPO, EPA, and DHA. EPO is the fucking yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> IPO. No, IPO is a initial fucking... public offering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, vitamins. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I, when, early in my career, I never took fucking vitamins. Do you remember when Rogan used to do? It was part of the like. You know, he did the 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 fighter series where they follow the fighters around. What's that called? You've done it. You've done it. Um, it's like twenty four seven. Yeah, all access. All shit. access. Yeah, whatever yeah. it was. But this is a while ago. He was he was with Rampage Jackson, mm-hmm. and, and yeah, he was they follow, he was in he was in his shit. big monster truck, and they were cruising around yeah, L A. Yeah, or yeah, wherever it was. I, do remember, I that. remember they stopped for lunch, and they're sitting on his tailgate, and the way up, and Rogan pulls out this bag, this Ziploc baggie. Full of, I mean, bro, it had to be 15, 20 pills in it. He's like, yeah, I take these every day. And that's where I was like, holy shit. Like, well, honestly, I should I probably take, take. I take probably about. I probably take like eight a day. Yeah, well, I'm like probably 10 to 12 in the morning and, and 10 to 12 at night. Well, so then if you take that, Renee must take three times that because you have a cabinet oh, that is dude. from top to bottom. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's shit, the one I that, haven't even heard like, of. Like, like, I've been taking this stuff that I, that because of her. Yeah. She's been, she's been, she knows this shit. So much shit. Right, right. She She's does. on top of it. Yep. Renee is interesting. I would love to get Renee down here one day. Renee's interesting. Frankie's wife's an interesting character. She's uh, she's very well read. If, she, if something piques her interest and she's interested in it, like what's going on right now, she you know very much thinks is like good versus evil, and I I'm there. But she researches it. She reads it. She's been going to church a lot lately. And I even she, said I want to. She just I wanna... read. She just read. Well, not just, but no, within the past you know year or so. She read the Torah, which is pretty much the First Testament. Quran. She read the Quran, and then she just read the Bible. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yep. Not only does she, but I read do, I it. Feel, she lives it. Uh, yeah, yeah, she does. She goes to church. Uh, but I do want to read the Bible. I think just so I could fact check. I never read it front <laughs> to back. <laughs> I never read it front to back. But I, as a kid, I was I went to church every Sunday, and you they they made you read certain you know passages, passages of it. But I you know I don't think you, you could, I think you need like a Bible that's like somewhat translated, right? That's kind of hard yeah. to read. Read it, I imagine. You know all the Psalms and shit. Sure. Yeah, I think God's good in your life. Good Absolutely. Your life. Just the moral structure of it, if nothing else, is great. But obviously. Yeah. If you're a true believer, you believe there's 
you know, a higher power and something after death. And I very much do. I don't, that doesn't mean that I interpret the Bible literally, like everything that happened, happened in a literal sense. You know, they say like the parting, the Red Sea. What, Adam could, and Steve? Could have, yeah. The parting of the Red Sea could have just been a really big tide. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Right. Yeah, right. Or even like Noah's Ark. It could have just been a flood in right. one area. You right. know what I mean? Correct, yeah, yeah. 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 There's like, you know, and then supposedly like the Dead Sea It was the scroll, original right? based on a true story movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but they yeah. just embellish everything. Well, I think too, like the Bible was written supposedly... It was all put together like 500 years after Jesus. Mm-hmm. So it kind of makes you, right, you know, right. those stories of what happened. In 500 like, yeah, years, yeah, fish, the yeah. fish keeps getting bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or, your, or your feet. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. Well, listen. Yeah. Good go, man. It's a good, good go. go. Always, man. We're getting closer to November 6th. I'm excited. Still haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do. There's a possibility I, I might go. There's... there's you know, there's a lot of possibility we might go to AC. Possibility might do it in my backyard, but regardless, man, your number one fan over here is going to be cheering you on, rooting oh, for you. So it, bring that W back to Jersey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, right, everybody. Have a nice evening. <laughs> <laughs> Good night from Ur. Dirkadish.